Well, Kentucky held their unofficial start to the basketball season Friday night with Big Blue Madness. Of course, the event wouldn't have been complete without crazy pyrotechnics, a dance from Matthew Mitchell, and an appearance by Drake. But all the flash doesn't mean much if the team doesn't produce on the court. And John Calipari knows that. He talked a lot during his speech about the pursuit of UK's ninth national championship. Now, it's not fair to compare this group to Kentucky's previous title teams, especially before they've even played a collegiate game. But there are some talented groups that come to mind when Cal was asked how this team stacks up athletically. 2010 was ridiculous. I mean, that just, it wasn't normal. So to compare them to that is not normal. I think uh, the team in 2012 um, athletically was ridiculous. I mean, just not normal. They were so fast and long and strong, and you know that that those two teams probably stand out in my mind. Um, but again, um, there's a length to this team. Well, on the heels of his unofficial visit to Big Blue Madness, Kentucky has offered five-star point guard Tyrese Maxey out of South Garland, Texas. Maxey averaged over 16 points. Three rebounds and three assists per game for RM5 Elite in the Nike EYBL last travel season. And he is ranked as the number 12 overall prospect in the 2019 class by 24-7 Sports. He is the seventh offer for UK in the class of 2019. Well, Kentucky not the only basketball team in the state to host their season kickoff event Friday. Down in Bowling Green, WKU held their Hilltopper Hysteria, which was an eye-opening experience for reigning Kentucky Mr. Basketball and former Dunbar guard Tavion Hollingsworth. Uh, it was really great. You know, yeah, this came out of a practice, so we weren't really going, but the crowd got us going. I wasn't expecting it to be like, as loud as it was. It was really fun. Well, Kentucky with their bye week exactly at the midway point of the season. And one of the biggest positives that come out of the first half of the year has been the emergence of freshman Lynn Bowden. Now, Bowden has been steadily living up to the hype that followed him to Lexington, culminating in earning SEC Freshman of the Week honors after their game against Missouri. Now, Mark Stoops has said that there will be more play calls for Bowden, which is something that has Steven Johnson really excited. He's special. He, he's a special talent. Um, the elusiveness he has with him. Um, I mean, I, I love getting him the ball, um, especially like last last week, uh, the, the last Saturday. Um, I threw the ball. It shouldn't have been a throw because the safety came down on him. Um, but he made a play, cut it back across the field, um, and got 15 yards. Um, so, I mean, we definitely need to get to him the ball more. Uh, we've got some stuff in the works for him. Um, but, I mean, I'm just happy with, with his maturity on the team, um, knowing how good he is, but knowing that his time is coming. Well, Kentucky travels to Mississippi State next week. The Bulldogs stepping out of conference Saturday to host BYU. Midway through the first quarter on second and nine, Nick Fitzgerald, looking for some running room, finds the end zone to make it 7 to nothing. Mississippi State. Same score in the second quarter. Bulldogs in the red zone again. Fitzgerald to Donald Gray. Nine-yard score as Mississippi State wins 35-10. to Eastern Kentucky on the road at the number three team in the FBF's Jacksonville State. Colonel's third and goal from the JSU 13-yard line. Tim Bo Boyle looking for Ryan Marcouche. Instead, it's picked off. EKU trails 34-10 in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Louisville continuing to struggle. Lamar Jackson racked up 512 yards of total offense and accounted for five touchdowns. But Boston College shocks the Cardinals 45-42. We'll have highlights and post-game reaction coming up tonight on LAX 18 News at 11. Well, it's moving day at TPC Kuala Lumpur for third round play in the CIMB Classic after soggy and rain-delayed second round. Defending champion Justin Thomas with the chip in for Eagle at 16. That gives him to five under, but his chances to repeat not looking good. He finished the day tied for 24th. We'll be right back.